Welcome back, everybody, to our series on fluoroscopic procedures. This video will discuss the contrast agents used in fluoroscopy procedures. First, let's discuss the differences between positive and negative contrast agents. Positive contrast agents are comprised of high atomic number elements, which causes them to appear white or radiopaque on a radiograph. They include barium agents and iodinated contrast media. Negative contrast agents are comprised of low atomic number elements. They appear black or radiolucent on a radiograph, and they include air, carbon dioxide, and nitrous oxide. One example of a positive contrast agent is barium sulfate. It comes in a powdered or liquid form and is water insoluble, meaning it is not dissolved in water and it is not absorbed by the body. It carries a risk of mild to life-threatening allergic reaction, although true allergic reaction to barium is exceedingly rare. The powdered form can be mixed with water to obtain the concentration or consistency needed for the exam being performed. You should refer to the protocol used at your facility for mixing the barium, the manufacturer's label, or the preference of the radiologist or RRA that's performing the exam. Note that the temperature and the consistency of the barium will affect the speed in which the barium passes through the GI tract. When it's warmer, it will flow faster. Barium strongly adheres to and defines the mucosal lining of the alimentary tract. Iodinated contrast media is another positive contrast agent. It is water-soluble and consists of molecules containing atoms of iodine, which dissolve in water and can be absorbed by the body. It carries a risk of mild to life-threatening allergic reaction. Always check the patient's allergies prior to administration. Iodinated contrast can be used straight, meaning as is, or diluted in water to obtain the desired opacification. Iodinated contrast moves at a faster rate through the alimentary tract than barium. Let's discuss the use of iodinated contrast media in the alimentary tract. It does not adhere well to the mucosal lining and dilutes as it travels through the small intestine, subsequently providing less detail. It becomes densely concentrated in the colon due to the normal rapid absorption of water in the colon. Therefore, the contrast appears denser in the colon. It is particularly useful if perforation of the alimentary tract is suspected because it can be easily removed by the means of aspiration or during surgery. It is readily absorbed from the peritoneum and excreted by the kidneys. A characteristic of fluid contrast elements to understand is osmolality. Contrast media can be divided into high osmolality contrast media, or HOCM, and low osmolality contrast media, or LOCM. The osmolality of a solution is the measurement of the number of molecules and particles in a solution per kilogram of water. The radiographic significance of the osmolality value of contrast media is that it is higher than the osmolality value of blood plasma. In basic terms, the osmolality of contrast media is the concentration of iodine particles in the solution compared to the amount in the blood plasma. If contrast media is high osmolality, it has a higher concentration of iodine particles than blood plasma. When contrast media has a higher iodine concentration, there is also a higher risk of allergic reaction. Ionic contrast media are iodinated contrast agents that can dissociate into cations and anions when they enter a solution. In other words, ionic contrast media can dissolve into charged particles when entering a solution. Water-soluble contrast can be divided into ionic contrast and non-ionic contrast. Ionic contrast media is a high osmolality contrast media, meaning it has a high concentration of iodine atoms in a solution to achieve adequate radiographic visualization. Most of the older, less expensive, high osmolar ionic agents carry an increased risk of allergic reaction and have therefore been replaced by safer, low osmolar agents. It is markedly hypertonic, meaning it has a high osmotic pressure, which allows sufficient concentration of iodine for radiographic visualization. It is approximately six times the osmolality of blood plasma. It is important to note, if a patient is on aspiration precautions or if a fistula to the lung or trachea is suspected, do not administer an ionic, water-soluble contrast media, for example, gastrographin or Conray. Due to the high osmotic pressure of ionic contrast media, serious or fatal pulmonary conditions may occur, including pulmonary edema, pneumonitis, or death if it's aspirated. Non-ionic contrast media is a low osmolality contrast media, meaning it has a low concentration of iodine atoms in a solution to achieve adequate radiographic visualization. 
Low osmolar contrast agents are most commonly used today. However, they come at an increased cost due to improved safety conditions. They do not dissociate into charged particles. Non-ionic contrast media is hypotonic, meaning it has a low osmotic pressure with respect to ionic contrast media. It has a lower incidence of adverse reactions, and it is approximately one to three times the osmolality of blood plasma. A characteristic of fluid contrast elements to understand is viscosity. Viscosity is the ability for a fluid to flow. It can be described as the state of being thick, sticky, and semi-fluid in consistency due to internal friction. Flow varies inversely with the viscosity of fluid. A fluid is said to have low viscosity when it flows faster and causes less resistance to flow. For example, if a contrast is warm in temperature, it tends to flow faster. A fluid is high in viscosity when it flows more slowly and causes greater resistance to flow. For example, if a contrast is cooler in temperature, the flow is slower. The last contrast agent we'll discuss is air contrast. Air contrast is a negative contrast agent. Examples include effervescent carbon dioxide crystals, a gas-producing substance, which is an excellent source for distending the stomach and esophagus in barium swallow studies and upper GI series. A rectal tip with an additional tube for air is used to introduce air into the colon during a double contrast barium enema. The air allows for distension of the colon and visualization of the mucosal lining. Let's do a few quick comparisons, ionic versus non-ionic contrast media. Ionic contrast media can dissociate into cations and anions when entering a solution, whereas non-ionic contrast media do not dissociate into cations and anions when entering a solution. Ionic contrast media is a high osmolarity media, where non-ionic contrast media is a low osmolarity media. In ionic contrast media, every two cations are associated with three anionic components. And in non-ionic contrast media, there is one neutral component per every three iodine molecules. Ionic contrast media were invented first and are considerably toxic, while non-ionic contrast media were invented later and are comparatively less toxic. Positive contrast agents are comprised of high atomic number elements, which causes them to appear white or radiopaque on a radiograph. They include barium agents and iodinated contrast media. Negative contrast agents are comprised of low atomic number elements. They appear black or radiolucent on a radiograph, and they include air, carbon dioxide, and nitrous oxide. 